And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Clippers. 19-point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. One for the Warriors. Up front, it's Green at the four with Jackson Davis at the five. Some kind of shooting in the backcourt for him. It's Curry and Heel. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. And, and you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Talk about confidence. Greg, what do you think about Harden's quote from a couple years ago when he said, I'm not a system player. I am the system. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I laughed when I heard it because most guys couldn't say that. But Harden absolutely can. He's an elite scorer turned elite passer. Take a break. Take Your a break. offense has to Two orbit shots. around him when he's on the floor. They throw good, James Harden. And as James Harden enters his mid-30s doors, he's still able to put his fingerprints all over a game. It's so true, Kevin. Rumors of his supposed demise have been greatly exaggerated. This guy is able to create shots for himself and his teammates at an elite level. That one misses. Like looking back to last season, the Clippers had one red-hot stretch. That's right. They, they went on a 26-5 and five run between December and February. It, it finally showed how dangerous that team could be when healthy. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And you can see what he wanted to do there, but that was a tough giveaway. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. There's the pass to Leonard. Healed against Powell. And it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. Boy, if Norman Powell does this kind of work on a consistent basis, look out, folks. He is cooking right now. Here's Green. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Boy, yet another missed opportunity here. Whatever they talked about at halftime, it's not working. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Kevin, thanks very much. James Harden is still a factor at age 35. He says, I'm more than a scorer, so for me, it's just impacting the game at the highest level. Kevin, he's led the league in scoring three times, but has also led the league in assists. So... It's pretty much true. Back to you. Thank you, David. Oh, don't forget, he rebounds as well as any guard right now in the NBA. He had a nice open look right there. Curry's got 13 points. Now doing it like only he can, Stephen Curry's accuracy is something to watch. Puts it up from 12. Offensive rebound. And that one is good from Zubac. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. Pass to Green. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got nine rebounds now tonight. Mann passes to Powell. to man now here's Leonard he's guarded closely man can hit that's a look you cannot pass up it's also one you should miss from deep three-point land Curry can't get it to go well that's just inconsistency from him and it's happened all night and it hasn't helped their cause in the corner Harden Sinks the three-pointer. Eight points for him. Well, James Harden, a sniper through and through. You give him even a little sliver of daylight, and that ball is gone. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Curry passes to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. 
Floats it up for Wiggins. And he lays in the alley-oop. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that a, one, Kevin. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Come on, come on. Here's Mann, covered by Wiggins. It's deflected. Green against Leonard. Green, no luck. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Leonard inside, working on Green. Leonard, no luck. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And stolen by Leonard. Shoots over Jackson Davis. Here's Zubats. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Jackson Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Here's Curry. Drilled from 11 feet out. Curry's got 15. Well, Stephen Curry, so efficient in the mid-range. I know it's not prioritized. He's one guy you want shooting it. Leonard inside. Guarded by Green. Doesn't go that time. And Curry has it in the corner. Shoots over Zubats. Curry with the bucket. He's got 17. Every year, Greg, we get a new batch of rookies into the NBA, and sometimes we're all guilty of judging them too early. Oh, absolutely. I think we need probably three years to evaluate a player. You know, fans and media can, can be a little harsh at times, but not everybody develops at the same rate. Timeout called the Warriors. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Los Angeles making a switch here. Jones is checked in. Different look here for the Warriors. Kevon Looney is checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. Jonathan Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. Moody's checked in for Wiggins. And it's Brandon Pajemski in for Buddy Heal. It's Curry outside. It's hauled in by Zubats. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. I mean, they've been stepping it up in terms of their shooting from distance, and the confidence has been there all game long, leaving the defense to scramble. They've also What's made up? a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. Greg, since reaching five consecutive NBA Finals, the Warriors have missed the playoffs three of the past five years. And to be fair, uh, they did go 46 and 36 last season. They were 10 games over 500 last year. So they weren't a bad team, but Golden State doesn't just expect to be in the play-in. They want to be a contender. And many around the league believe Curry doesn't get enough fouls called in his favor. Uh, G.A., what do you think? Uh, there could be some truth to that. He gets held and grabbed more than anyone when running off screens, but especially blatant on drives to the rim.
First free throw is good. And despite what is a lock Hall of Fame career, Stephen Curry has no let up. He is chasing excellence. Kevin Porter's checked in for Los Angeles. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Recently, Doris, the Clippers have had their most successful stretch in franchise history. Well, think about it, Kevin. They've only missed the playoffs twice, going all the way back to 2012. They made their first conference finals in team history back in 2021. Not bad for a franchise that had one of the worst win-loss records in league history. And there's the foul. It'll go on Moses Moody. That's foul number two for him. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Chris Dunn's checked in for the Clippers. Zubats finds Jones. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got four rebounds in this game. Curry deciding where to go with it. Hey, yo, right here. Outside, Kaminga. Shot clock at six. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Clippers leading by 23. Out to the wing. Dunn kicks to Zubats. Outside, Jones. Quarter outside. Good on the triple. Porter's got 17 now. Shooting while in rhythm. Porter Jr. has an impressive understanding for when to let that thing fly. Curry against Dunn. Takes the three. Curry can't get it to go. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Back to Batum. Down against Curry. Now here's Dunn. Defense is right there. Three on the clock. Here's Batum. The Warriors pull it in. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Down against Curry. And the rejection by Zubats. What a great defensive play by Ivica Zubac. This guy just gives you great effort defensively. They get it back. Here's Moody. They shoot again. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Warriors have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. And he knocks down the first one. Amir Coffey's checked in for Zubats. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And so Looney nails both of them. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. There's Porter with the three. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Down low, Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. 
Boy that's a play you just practice time and time again and that's the result of the work put in. Warriors shooting just 33 percent struggling to get good looks. Now here's Moody guarded by Porter. Here's Pajemski and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Warriors have been shooting right around 75 percent at the line nine of 12 so far. Free throw good, Pajemski. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. L.A. has gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. Batum passes to Porter. Driving in. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. Love the show of tenacity on the drive. Porter Jr. just forcing the defender's hand. It's his first trip to the line. And his free throws are falling at a rate of only about 72% on the season. Not terrible, but listen, you obviously would expect him to do better. The first free throw is good. And one of those guys who fell in the draft the year he came out due to injury, Porter healed up and has taken the league by storm. And Porter drops them both. Here's Golden State now. Atlanta will be traveling to face them after this game. That game is the first and last of their home stream. Passes to Kaminga. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. Here's Porter. He's got 22. We've got 128 left in the third. Done outside. Throws it up high. And Jones with the stuff. Well, Chris Dunn's passing ability was ready made for the NBA. The Warriors shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Here's Pajemski, done covering. Pajemski with it, and looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Done outside. Kicks to Porter. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third. That one, no good. Anderson inside. Dunn covering. Doesn't go for him. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Jones finds Batum. Now Dunn. Back to Batum. 
Dunn left side. Just four to shoot. And the shot goes down. Dunn's got eight points. Here's Kaminga. One second left. It's off. And so it's Los Angeles. Leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous. And they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back to the action in just a minute. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You know a thing or two about a point guard's job. Set the table for your teammates. Done there perfectly. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Luz going with. Muhammad Bamba is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then there's Dunn. Then it's Bones Highland. And it's Coffee in at the three. Just five on the clock. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You know, Doris, I'm not sure many people take into account what a grind the NBA season is. I couldn't agree more, Kevin. And listen, these guys have the best of what's available. They stay at top quality hotels. They have incredible professionals that take care of them. But there is no making up for a lack of sleep when you've played a game at 8 o'clock at night. You leave the arena at 1 and you may arrive in your next city at 4 or 5 a.m. and tip off that night at 7. And this goes on week after week. It is not easy. Here's Anderson. Bamba with the block. I'll tell you, the kind of lockdown defender Mo Bamba can be. Send it back, young man. Highland misses. The Warriors shooting only 31%. Their offense really struggling to put possessions together. Here's Waters. He gets it in there. Waters got his first two points. The Clippers shooting so far very efficient all around, about 55%. Here's Highland. Off target with his three. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Los Angeles making a switch here. Powell's checked in, and the Warriors also making a change. Jackson Davis is checked in. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Count that one. Well, those are the point forward skills of Kyle Anderson. Slow mo finds the open teammate. Powell against Peyton. Pass to Bamba. Shoots over Jackson Davis. Nice shot there by Bamba. Bamba's got his first basket of the night. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Peyton kicks to Melton. Six on the shot clock. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. There's the drive. Highland misses. Warriors have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Jackson Davis can't get it to go. For Los Angeles, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Highland deciding where to go with it. Here's Coffey, and that's good off the glass that time. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Pass to Jackson Davis. G.A., what effect do you think the rule to limit flopping has had since it was put into place in the NBA? Well, I do think we're seeing less theatrics, and there were fines before, but a flop now might impact the game itself. So I'd say it's been a bit of a deterrent. 
And this is what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Clippers. On Wednesday, they'll defend home court against the Orlando Magic. And then on Friday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Sacramento Kings. And looking at the Philadelphia matchup. Take a break. Take it's a break. going to be an all-out battle. And you just hope they are rested and able to execute their game plan as it's going to be a tremendous challenge. And the first one at the line is good. James Harden, he's checked in for the Clippers. And so he hits both. The Warriors shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Peyton passes to Melton. Here's Jackson Davis. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the boards. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Peyton passes to Anderson, stolen by Harden, and here they come. You know, Doris, we know how physical the NBA is, but can you talk to the importance of mental toughness as well and, and what it means for a player? Uh, Kevin, I don't think a player can be successful in the NBA, and certainly a team cannot, without some level of grit and mental toughness. And what does that mean? How does that manifest itself? It means handling adversity. It means overcoming a key injury. There's a toughness required to be amongst the smartest, most resilient players or teams in the NBA. And it's tonight. Here's Coffee. Jackson Davis defending. Here's Bamba, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, Mo Bamba is the prototypical modern NBA big, right? The size combined with the shooting ability. Shooting two. And that one falls for Bamba. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. And so he makes both from the line. Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Let's it fly. Offensive rebound. Jackson Davis banked in off the glass. That gives him the double double 10 points and 11 rebounds. They are just killing them on the interior. Curry against Harden. The pass to Coffey. Shot clock at five. From past the arc. Los Angeles with another miss. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. They grab their own miss. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies on a possession. Waters passes to Curry. Greg, we see the NBA finding players for certain actions or statements. Multiple offenders are always going to be under the microscope, Kevin. Sometimes they end up playing into those expectations, so those punishments can appear a bit skewed. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Now Anderson. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. 
Anderson's got his first bucket of the night. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Harden against Curry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Just another day at the office for Mr. Harden, once again making his way to the foul line. Shooting two. Free throw good, James Harden. And the old phrase, he lives at the line. That is James Harden, folks. For the Clippers, Ivica Zubats has checked in for Bamba. And it's Batum in for P.J. Tucker. And both free throws good for James Harden. We've heard some players' doors propose that refs should be fined for missed calls, especially with the game on the line. What do you think? Kevin, I couldn't disagree more. First and foremost, the level of accountability for NBA officials is unprecedented. And keep in mind, there is discipline for high-profile mistakes and mistakes of all kinds. Every single game, every single call is evaluated, and you see their progression in terms of, yes, they'll officiate in the playoffs, or no, they won't. We are right where we need to be. Powell inside. Defended by Moody. Powell kicks to Harden, and too much time in the lane, they get called for the three-second violation. Kevin Porter's checked in for Powell, and then for Golden State. Looney's checked in for Trace Jackson Davis. And it's Brandon Pajemski in for Curry. And for the Warriors, they're shooting about 33%. Not happy with their play on that end. Wiggins outside. Back to Pajemski. Looney. It's good on the putback. Well, in the rebounding game, at least, it's been a strong physical performance for him. Now, here is Harden. Driving inside. Here's Coffee. Green with the block. Well, let's remember a former defensive player of the year, Draymond Green, sending it back. Here's Moody. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Pure determination here, guys. A fourth quarter run that has them looking better and better as we get ready for the stretch run. Outside, Porter. Pass to Zubats. Well, when you talk about the NBA going global, the last six MVPs, Doris, as you know, all international players. Kevin, what I love about this is the NBA wants the best players, regardless of where they come from. There's a time where American players just dominated that award for years and years. Fact of the matter is, it's good for the game to get the baddest, best players in the world, and we've done that. Free throw good, Pajemski. And Los Angeles with some changes. Leonard, he's checked in for Batum. Mann comes in for Amir Coffey. And it's Powell in for Kevin Porter. Then for the Warriors, Trace Jackson Davis comes in for Looney. And it's Buddy Heald in for Moses Moody. He doesn't get the second one. And talk about fit doors and guys who play to their strengths. What about Zubac? He does a great job. He does, Kevin. A seven-footer who wants to play like a seven-footer. He's an outstanding rebounder. He doesn't need the ball offensively. You know he's going to show up and give you great effort every night. Green up on top. He's covered by Leonard. They get a hand on it. Back to Green. 
all alone. And here's Harden. Well, a trend that we've seen over the past couple years is that the league is getting younger, Doris, than ever before. And, Kevin, that's a product of players starting to train seriously at a young age. And what they're training is their skill level, handling, passing, and shooting. The key here is, do they have a nuanced understanding of the game? There is where the growth has to come, but it is definitely getting younger. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Leonard. Doors with what he's done in the NBA, Kawhi Leonard seems to be a lock for the Hall of Fame. I agree, Kevin, and the reason is he's got a couple of championships under his belt. More importantly, he's got individual awards, All-NBA, Defensive Player of the Year, and he's been able in the most leveraged moments of a season to be the focal point for his team, and that's a big driver of Hall of Fame status. People like to debate, and Greg, I don't know if this is you, what's better, Kawhi's defense or his offense? Well, Kevin, I'll say this. Even if he was a subpar defender, his offense alone would have him among the league's top players. But his defense isn't subpar. At its best, it's elite. To the wing right side. Here's Coffey. And he finishes nicely on the layup. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, my man is going for the jugular. To the paint. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Porter with it. Pass to Coffee. Here's man. Porter looking it over. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. And taking care of the ball has been a problem for him. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. And the rejection by Zubats. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Los Angeles. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. First one falls for him. And so often, we'll hear talk about how many rings a great player has. Doris, do we emphasize that maybe too much? I think, Kevin, first and foremost, a great player is great no matter what. This is a team sport, and a player doesn't have control necessarily of the parts and pieces behind him or the organization within which he's trying to succeed. Titles matter, certainly. There's no question. And it's great fodder for fans, but it's not how I define a great player. Shot from 12. Count that bucket. Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Here's healed up and in from the low block. Well, shooting is the best attribute of Buddy Heald gets that one to go down. Porter passes to Zubats. He kicks it to Batum. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
on the wing heel. He's covered by Leonard. Back to heel. A three-pointer is right on target. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. So the Clippers winning this one easily. It was a tale of two teams tonight. One that was in total control operating flawlessly and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get go and once they started to really pour it on it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? Well, we did a great job tonight. You know, we got to come in every game with the defensive hat on first, and we did that tonight. We made shots, and we, we ended up winning the game. You took it to them when it mattered, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. Thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.